patch notes are out, and I heard that there's a big change to Splatfest, so let's get in with this. First, we have, of course, support for Side Order, which is coming out tomorrow at 8 o'clock if you're in America, but it will come out exactly 12 a.m. if you're in most other parts of the world. Okay. Yeah. All the new things, but let's look at it, actually. 153 pieces of gear, wow. Marlin Airport, yeah. Two new main weapons, which are the du new dualies and the new umbrella. The nine sets of existed main weapons. Okay, there's nine, which I don't think is that good. And 20 new table cards. I, those are probably side or order related. Oh, okay. So yeah, we also heard a rumor that you could adjust gear, and such as removing socks, and that's what the video I saw was talking about, and that's good because we actually have it confirmed. Yeah, two new songs that we've been adding every season from now, pretty much. New main weapons. Oh, okay, so actually, I'm glad that they're telling us this because I have no idea what the new weapons did. Normal shots from the dualies have a long flight range and the dodge rule shots move at a long distance but an exchange can only be performed one at a time. What does that mean? Move a long distance but in exchange it can hmm when shooting after a dodge roll the flight range of shots decreases okay so basically before you dodge roll the your shots are longer and shorter and after you dodge roll they're faster and shorter range that's good the brella can deal high amounts of damage even to even distant opponents to s to the low scatter of its shots Okay, the Kenopi has low durability, but it can launch quickly in a- Okay, so just, uh, changed umbrella. All the kits, 50 du Deco, Curling Bomb, Splat- Why did they give two screen weapons? Auto Bomb, Zipcaster, Squid Beacon, Kraken Royale. Also, the Squiffer kit's amazing. Squid Beacon, Kraken Royale. Oh, yeah. Splash wall, triple splash down, squid beacon. Okay. I'm sure someone else has already gone over these kits and I was not seeing them for the first time, so I'm just gonna get right to the patches. Big swig roller. Reduce the amount of ink consumed for horizontal swings and vertical swings by approximately 10%. Okay, ink consumption buff for big swig roller. That's good. Ink splatter is more now more likely to fall around the player's feet. What does that mean? Why did we need a mini flatling nerf? Or is it a nerf? Let's see. Glucodulius increased the radiance of of the ink splatter to the point of impact approximately 10%. Okay, I think that means just a paint buff, which is good. Glucodulius desperately need any buff. Increased amount of ink consumed consumed up to the first charge level by approximately 17%. Okay. So, in consumption nerf, which yeah, might have needed that. But the thing is, I feel like we should be nerfing pencil. Points of required specials. Gal is nerfed. Emperor's splat dualies are 200. Wait. Oh, so, 52 gal gets, oh, the original 52 gal gets the nerf, I guess. Dedicated poses to the Reppin' Gopolis play. Oh, that's good. Okay, so, before, when they had either Dooley's Brella Stringers or Splatanas, which are the new weapons from after Splatoon 1, they didn't have a pose, and they would just do the same thing. Okay, okay. Now let's go to the Splatfest, which is probably the most exciting part. I've heard there were, like, balancing changes to Splatfest. Players can now use Fizzbang and Splatfest in tricolor battles. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought it would be a specific mode that Fizzbang would happen in, but apparently it's happening in both. And also, I just want to say, in the Fresh Season trailer, when they were doing Fizzbang, they, Fizzbang, they actually had normal outfits on, which means 
they were probably in a p- 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 private battle doing this, which means we're probably going to get Splatfest in private battle soon. Let's read up a little bit about what Fizzbang even does. A or L button to throw a Fizzbang. Okay, just like Clam Blitz. It'll launch, launch a firework and does small damage. Fizzbangs are acquired when landing on the stage from a spawner, from the spawner. Oh. Okay. So you get some, something once you get into the match and when you kill someone. The number of Fizzbangs acquired at these times increases as the time, oh, okay. So there's going to be more as the time goes on. I don't think Tricolor should have Fizzbang, but whatever. You can have up to seven Okay, so they actually changed the points a lot. Let's see. Sneak peek is seven points. Now it's worth 90 points. Okay, that's a big jump. Um, what? Oh, okay, I get it. So. Oh, second place is now getting points. Okay, that's good because if you were second placed and you're still bad. Okay. I like this a lot, actually, because more points, meaning there's more room for making smaller points, which is always good. Sneak peek is worth 90. Votes got nerfed by minus one points, which is pretty much what it means. Um, battles are still the same. And, okay, so second place just gets half of that, and then third place gets nothing. 90 points. 70 points. Okay, so sneak peek is worth a lot more than popularity now, and popularity is now worth not worth as much, and battles stayed the same. Okay. I think they should nerf tricolor battles, and especially if they're doing something like this, I should think they should make it 17 points. The matchmaking, the matchmaking method for Splatfest Battle Open has been adjusted to improve matchmaking efficiency for groups of two players. Okay, I'm glad. I'm not sure how they're gonna improve the efficiency, but at least they're doing it. Added more items. Okay. Lone Reef Slider, which is the Reef Slider you get during Salmon Run. Increase the damage dealt, okay. If you wanna read that, you can. Table Turf Battle changes, added more characters who can be invited to the Table Turf Battle Dojo, which is like playing against NPCs, to invite new characters. Players must uh, download the side or DLC and progress the story. That's actually really cool. Now, I kind of want to play Table Turf just for that. Seven more stages, add a random feature, will move the cursor to a random stage when selecting. Okay, random stage, I like that. Um... Change the stage used by Spike in the Table Turf Battle Dojo. That's weird. That's suspicious. Does Spike have a role in side order? Okay. Increase the number of decks players can save to 16 to 32. Okay. Quality of life. Side order stats feature. Add a journey 5 to Wonder Crust. Yes! More Wonder Crust. I love Wonder Crust. Um, journey 5 can only be... S- Supported with points earned by inking turf from fresh season 2024 20, onward. Okay, good. Because then it's too easy. Oh, okay. Participating in tournaments with the tournament manager. So in fresh season, they're really going to go into that. So you can now get tickets. They get it from the lobby terminal. terminal players who withdraw from the tournament and disqualified will not be able to receive the ticket. Players may receive one ticket per season. One ticket? That's silly. So you just have all season to win a tournament? Okay, sure. Added badges that directors and Okay, you get badges for doing or making a tournament. That's good. I think it's this might actually get used in competitive play. I have been actually tried out the tournament manager. I think that it might not have a double elimination bracket, and double elimination brackets are a lot better. Stages will not be removed if the 
battle is interrupted. Wait. Oh, okay, so not the same stage twice. I like that. Okay. This is good. This is a good update that we're getting. Thank you guys for watching. In my opinion, I think this is all pretty much good, except maybe the weapon changes, which weren't really necessary, and there were some necessary things that we missed out on. But, yeah, other than that, I liked everything, and I like what they're doing in the Fresh season. I think the Fresh season might be my favorite season, knock on wood, just in case it's not good. Because Fresh season 2023 was my favorite season before this one, so let's see. Bye, guys.